After eventually finding a park up in the port area, we woke up and shortly after found ourselves being spoken to by the local park ranger, who informed us we can't stay there. He took our details and told us if we didn't move we would be fined. It was not a problem, we were going to move on after we looked around Split anyhow. It just meant we had to park elsewhere in Split. That was a problem. A little bit too far to walk into Split from here, so we're going to find a car park a little bit closer, walk into Split, and then head off and try and find somewhere to spend the night. So unfortunately it's probably going to be dark again by the time we set off. Um, there we are. Yeah, we're okay. We're all good. Fine. We're fine. This one's a bit tighter, this side. But we're okay. We're all good. We're all good. Loads of room this side. Watch. Yeah, we're okay. Yeah, we're okay. All good. This is a bit of a tight one, isn't it? Do you want me to jump out of here? I've got an audience. This is inches to spare. Watch the mirror. Watch that. Yeah, you're so. <coughs> Don't bother bringing your van to split and trying to park in any car parks. Even if you've got a small motor. Home. It's got height barriers. So far today we've had to um, move on from the site that we were on, the um, near, down near the marina because a ranger came along and asked us to move on. A uh, lovely girl that we were talking to there gave us two parking areas near the beach which we went down to and it was too far to walk um, and leave the motorhome there for too long and then look around split and then get back it was it was still not too far for us to walk because um, we can walk all day but if it's too far to walk leave um, Daffy there and then walk back so then we put in for parking so we could find any parking that we could look around to park in and then go visit split and there's nothing they've all got height barriers of 2.2 or 2.5 so we drove around trying to find other places. It's nothing. It is mad. Uh, it's not really many parking spaces there. We've said before that we wouldn't drive into cities. We would park outside in an air or a campsite and catch the train in or cycling. There hasn't been any um, in Croatia. We're finding it quite difficult. You're not allowed to wild camp. There is loads of places out in the mountains that you could wild camp just down this road i had to pull over to show you the sunset i love sunsets so we're going to go down and see if we can find anywhere to park here for the night let's hope otherwise we're going to be driving in the dark so here's the low down we've parked here, which I'm just about to go outside and show you. So I don't quite know what area we're in because um, we've just pulled over and uh, to see the sunset and then we found this lovely place so we're going to park here for the night. Anyway, we didn't get to split so I have no idea what split looks like. Maniac, manic, trying to park anywhere. Uh, even if you had something uh, a lot smaller, it's still not easy. So, We've moved on to how many miles would you say we're away it's, from here? It's only about 15 miles. So about 15 miles away. Supermarket. 
Okay. So there is a parking sign there, as you can see, and some public toilets. So I would imagine this was, look at that lovely sunset just finishing now. The water's right there. So here it is. That's us parked up there. Just had to pull over there and, um, you know, get ready for like you do in the mornings, do all your bits and pieces before we continue on. So this is where we are. Lovely sunset over there last night. Reception 200 metres away. Okay, I'm going to go and find the reception, take my translator, see if we can make any sense of anything. In this campsite here, I've just come back from the reception and um, it's going to work out at €14.66 Euro 66 cents a night, minimum three nights, that includes everything and that's €5 uh, Euro a night for the taxis to the city. So we are going to, I'm just going to go to the reception now and book it for three nights and then we can have a wander around and a relax. The area that I've chosen is L7. There's only one other motorhome here. Wow, this is absolutely crazy. I can't find number seven. We've got a five. We've got a five, six. We've got a 36. bit out there well we've eventually found it this is our electric here what Mark's up to is he making some dinner or something where's he gone and here he comes okay. I don't know it's, you're touching the branch there yeah spindly branch We've parked up right in front of the lovely mill pond here, which we are going to go and try and do some kayaking. The view um, out the front window at the moment. There's us and one other motorhome and you from the UK. So hopefully we might catch up with them a bit later and have a natter, see what they've been up to, where they've been and everything. Any advice? Thank you. Look at that. <laughs> We're just looking at this um, tunnel in the mountain here and it looks like they're maybe starting to make a bridge or a viaduct because it is quite high they're working on it. and they're working on the entrance over there, I'll zoom in for you. So it could be a viaduct to go across. Such dramatic rock. We can't see the other one. Can't see the other one. Yeah. It's the other side of that uh, rock at the top. We'll be climbing tomorrow. Or Saturday. Maybe. Saturday. The other side of that highest rock to a fort. There is a fort there that's not so high, so we're going to be going up and over there to the other side. The old town that we walked into. The history of Omis dates back some 2,000 years. A big part of its history were the much feared Omis pirates in the 12th and 13th century. They ruled the waters from as far south as Dubrovnik to split in the north, intercepting ships as far west as Venice. The town of Omis has been protected by the fast-flowing Santina River for centuries. 
Invaders could not make it up the channel in their boats. The Omis boats, on the other hand, were built to do exactly that, so could easily attack and get back up the mouth of the river. Their boats in English were in fact named the Arrows. It was not until 1444 Venice managed to capture Omis and its pirates fell into decline and the threat from the Turks became more and more serious, both by land and sea. In the Middle Ages, Omis was encircled by a wall. The walls have long since gone, but two castles remain, one 13th and one 15th century. Just sitting here, by this lovely calm water watching the sunset it has been a really busy manic um i don't know how many days i lose count i was driving from madrid all the way obviously stopping on the way but to get out to croatia so we can get out the uh, sedging zone to make up our days so it's been quite tiring and daunting at times but it's nice to just to sit here and uh, watch this lovely sunset and listen to this lovely water look at that sun going so lovely so our plan tomorrow is to get the kayak out and kayak on this water. How exciting! It's chilly, but the water's perfect and calm. Look at that. Mark's got so excited, he's gone outside. <laughs> he's gone outside with his camera to take a photograph of this beautiful sunset. Why would you not want to get excited about this? Look at that, stunning. We have got one brand new kayak that's never come out of its bag. Well, shall we get it all set up and there and to go? Here we go. Now Mark's just going to put his lips around it and blow. <laughs> He's all wind. It's all full of hot air. It sounds like a donkey. <laughs> it all in, doesn't it? Listen. That's coming up pretty quick. Looking good. You were impressed with these, weren't you? What's that? The seats. Oh yeah. Compared really. to the other seats that we had in the other one. Yeah, way better. All strapped in. Good. Good. If you've enjoyed watching our videos and want to follow us through the different countries onwards towards Albania, give us a thumbs up and click the subscribe button below. Lordy Lord. Life jacket on? Yeah, life jacket on. <laughs> right. We're a bit, um, uh, I'm in. You in? Yeah. Well, we just stop for a moment, have a little look around. Mark's hanging on to a boy. Not literally a boy. Not literally a boy. Where are we? We are, have come from. 
you see the uh, building on the other side of the street? Oh, the, yeah, the just place. over here. That's where we come from. So it's lovely, lovely and calm. So we tried to get up to the bridge there where all the yachts and boats are moored up through the, the mouth of it but the current's too strong and we tried to paddle against it but anyway it beat us nature took over so we just let it take us back out and drift us out back to here probably safer we're back safely sadly we couldn't get up to that through that um, little bit up to the bridge there but uh, it was our first time out. Oh, just seen a lizard. Ooh. It's our first time out, so um, yeah, all good. Really had a lovely time. I am soaked. But anyway, it's good. Good fun. Morning. So today we're here catching the bus to Spit from here. It's going to be about 38 minutes uh, ride 